In Psalm 119, verse 71, the Bible says, It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Now, have you ever thought how and why it would be good for you to be afflicted? How is there any good for you to go through pain? What good could come through trouble? Now, if you could draw your attention to Acts 14, verses 21 and 22, the Bible reads, And when they had preached the gospel to that city and made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, and saying, We must through many tribulations enter the kingdom of God. Now, just ponder for a moment. Could it be that afflictions, although unpleasant, although they are uncomfortable, could it be that the afflictions are necessary for the Christian man or woman to grow in Christ? Because if it were not for the struggle you're going through, how else would you know that the Lord can take you from a place of brokenness and despair to a place of victory and healing? If it were not for the affliction in someone's body, how else would we come to know that the Lord is a healer? How else would we know that by his stripes we are healed? If it were not for life's challenges, for the setbacks and the battles, how else could we come to know the goodness of God? How else would we know the faithfulness of God? I believe that as we go through life and we face different trials, should we remain in the Lord? Should we continue trusting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? Should we stand firm and believe God's promises to be true? Then I believe that we will find him to be faithful, merciful, kind, and loving. James 1 verses 2 through 4 say, My brethren, Count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. We need to come to the understanding that the Lord can actually use afflictions in our lives to achieve His will. And for us individually, afflictions can lead to spiritual maturity. Our afflictions can produce strong faith within us. And inevitably, afflictions will always result in you praying with a purpose. Afflictions will leave you with a desire to really connect with God because you know that you cannot go through this battle with your own strength. When the Lord allows you to go through tough times, when he allows you to face certain obstacles, he is refining you. He's molding you and shaping you. In his divine plan, he knows that this situation will build your character. He knows that this situation will build your faith. The situation will actually build your prayer life. So be encouraged. Remember, the Lord is sovereign and the Lord is in control. Now let us go to God together in prayer. My Heavenly Father, Your Word says in Psalm 34, verse 19, The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. We praise You, King Jesus, because although we face many hardships, many difficult circumstances, we trust in You. We trust You to be an ever-faithful God. We trust you to be our reliable rescue. We trust you to be our loving protector, the one who gives us strength when we're weak. And Lord, I pray for the person who is right on the edge of giving up. I pray for the person who's just about to give up because of their situation. Father, I'm asking you to show yourself to be a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, the Prince of Peace, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and a good shepherd. Yes, indeed, the righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. 
God, I thank you that you are always there. You are always faithful to strengthen my spirit and to hold on to me. Lord, because of all that I've been through, I now pray. Not because I need something, but I pray because I have a lot to be thankful for. Lord Jesus, I trust and believe that despite the trials that you've allowed me to face, you will reveal the treasure that's inside me. Father, I accept that the afflictions you allow me to face, they will develop me. It will produce a new level of faith within me. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because even if we are afflicted, so long as we have you on our side, then we have nothing to worry about. If we have you, and if your presence goes with us, then it is well. It is well in our lives, and victory will come from you. Regardless of how unskilled we are or how unqualified we may be, if you are on our side, then we have nothing to fear. You are ever faithful, Lord Jesus. And I can say that you have led me through the darkest valley. Lord, I pray that you would calm the raging storms in my life. And should you want me to go through the storm, then I pray that I would always feel your presence around me. Give me the strength and the faith to stand firm. Your word says that your mercies are new every morning. And your love and tender mercies will never fail me. During a season of affliction, I will hold on to your word, which says in Psalm 30, verse 5, For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I trust you, Lord, to order all of my steps. You have known me before I was in my mother's womb. And you are a God who shapes and molds me so that I can become a faithful servant in your kingdom. So in the midst of my heartache, during whatever struggle or problem I may face, I would be assured that you, Lord, are in control. You are still on the throne. And Father, I thank you I thank you for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, and I bless your holy name. Amen.